What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Today's video is going to touch base on something that in only three days of 2018 kind of made everybody question the morality of uh, a lot of stuff going on on YouTube. That's right. I'm talking about the Logan Paul situation as much as everybody else has. Um, so yeah, let's touch base on that. First off, I can understand going to Japan and wanting to explore and stuff like that. But you don't go somewhere that's called the Suicide Forest and not expect to see the posse of a suicide victim. That's the one thing you don't do. Especially filming, recording, and joking about the dead body that you see in front of you. That's like a big no-no, especially with YouTube, and the one biggest insult of everything that happened with that was that it was still trending on YouTube, which shows basically where YouTube stands with a lot of its content creators. I'm not one of the biggest ones. I'm not making money off this, let's put it this way, he was going based off, oh, I saw a dead body, I'm not monetizing the video. But it's the matter of the fact that you found it appropriate to upload the video in the first place of a dead body. You don't go to a funeral home, find a dead body, look at the dead body and just start cracking jokes about it. It's, I grant that it's two different situations, but the thing is, it's like he's still joking around about a suicide victim. It's not right. It's not fucking right at all. It's, again, it's morally... more. First off, aside from the whole fact of the whole YouTube guidelines thing, it's morally wrong to film a dead body in the first place. It's morally wrong to joke around about the dead body. Especially if it's a suicide victim. Because obviously they, go, they went through some shit that led them to that fucking point, and they couldn't get the freaking help that they needed. But, it's a matter of... You don't fucking do that, especially as big as freaking Logan Paul was, as big as Logan Paul is, was, or whatever the fucking story is at this point. Because the last time I saw, after that whole situation, his freaking subscriber count was starting to tank a little bit. Especially after that whole freaking video. And, again, like, I'm gonna try to go into some detail as far as, like, how I freaking felt about that. I mean, again, like, I'm not a Logan Paul fan. I'm far from it. Then again, I don't necessarily know too many people that are Logan pa Logan Paul fanatics, let alone Jake Paul, and God knows he's been enough in enough bullshit, but his was a bit more outstanding because it's like he went to a freaking forest in Japan known as the Suicide Forest where people go to fucking commit themselves. It's fucking wrong. Don't fucking, first off, don't, I don't even know what compelled him to actually think that was a good idea, let alone anything else. I mean, let's put it this way. I'm going to go back to the whole thing as far as filming a fu filming at a funeral. I'm going to touch base on uh, the angry grandpa passing, and may he rest in peace. He was a big YouTube, a big part of YouTube. And his son wanted to actually live stream the funeral, but um, due to YouTube's guidelines, and I actually, in agreement with YouTube on this, you don't film the dead. It's not right. It's not even close to... Granted, it was his father, and his fa this may have been something his father would have wanted him to do. But you gotta realize, morally, it was just it just isn't right. You just don't do that kind of crap. And granted, even kid, even kid behind the camera, the son of the angry grandpa, they're not as big as freaking Logan Paul with freaking 15 million subscribers. But... It's a matter of, it shouldn't have been done in the first freaking place. Secondly, aside from the morality issues, it got even worse because he put a fucking half-assed apology. A half-assed apology literally the day after the video went up. I think it was either the day after or the day of, I don't remember. But, it's just, first off, you were wrong in recording it. Second off, if you're gonna feel bad about a situation, donate to one of the fucking suicide prevention uh, funds or something. I don't fucking know, because again, I'm not that familiar with it. It's, again, like, I know a lot of people that deal with like some depressive, depressing shit, and it's like, you, you don't know what kind of crap's gonna come up, come up from that. You don't. But, it, you just don't freaking film a suicide victim. You don't film a dead person. It's just morally fucking wrong. As far as like what 
brought him to the idea that that oh I'm gonna go to the freaking suicide forest and film a dead body. You, you just it's just wrong. And I know a bunch of his followers, I don't necessarily think they're gonna actually see this video, but I'm probably gonna end up getting a bunch of freaking misspelled freaking comments on this video or wherever. Basically, all misspelled because the majority of his followers are children. That's the other thing a lot of people on YouTube that are making videos on the whole Logan Paul thing don't realize, they're children. You might be getting, oh, uh, I'm a maverick, man, I'm a maverick. Uh. It don't fuck. First off, kid, shut the fuck up. It's just, you're you're defending somebody that thought it was morally right to freaking joke around about a freaking suicide victim. You gotta pick your freaking followers. I mean, I'm not gonna necessarily tell everybody to stop watching Logan Paul. I know damn well I'm not gonna freaking watch him because I don't necessarily find him that entertaining. I just find him to be a pompous little prick like his brother. But then again, I'm the one I'm the one guy sitting here with a freaking channel with subs six fucking subscribers, and I'm doing I'm again. Am I doing, what am I doing this video for? Oh, I'm doing it for the views. you goddamn right I'm doing it for the views. you goddamn right, and at the same damn time, I'm also voicing an opinion on how fucked up the situation was. I don't necessarily expect my outreach to be freaking outstanding or whatever, but it's fucking, it, it, you gotta realize, you're dealing with fucking YouTube. You're dealing with freaking, you gotta freaking, you basically got a fucking subscriber base of children. Be that voice for the children. Be the voice for the freaking kids. Be a good influence, don't be a fucking shithead. Anyway, just to lighten the mood on this video a little bit, I'm gonna show you my top five Logan Paul memes. This ought to be fucking hysterical. I got a list of them over here. I'm gonna have the, the memes itself pop up on screen, so just bear with me for a second. So, for my number five pick for Logan Paul memes, it's that uh, Logan Paul, it's basically making fun of the Logan Paul fanatics. Uh, oh, Logan Paul is dumb. And all of a sudden, uh, I, you'll see the meme. It's, it's self-explanatory enough. Just basically of that freaking scene from what I remember being, I think the Big Lebowski. Of the guy with the handgun and it just has, the, you'll see the text over it. For my number four meme, Logan Paul sees SpongeBob SquarePants hanging from a rope. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's. Now don't get me wrong, SpongeBob's not actually dead in that in that picture. I want to put that out there right now because I don't need this freaking video getting striked. Uh, for my number three pick, it's that classic uh, Drake meme, except it's got Logan Paul's face over it, and it's got the comparison of the picture up top saying don't film the dead body and then the bottom picture just says film the dead body and put a ha pull a half-assed uh, apology video and claim that it's not monetized the s number two meme it's three days into 2018 and somebody already fucked up and my number one meme it's basically going after the whole pewdiepie situation versus logan paul where uh, a while back i guess uh, PewDiePie said the n-word on I think it was either a live stream or a video or something and then it's like he's, you'll the beam will be up on the screen where it's basically gonna read uh, I said the n-word and the internet lo and the internet lost its mind and then you see the picture of Logan Paul it just simply says hold my beer <laughs> anyway guys this has been uh, Grave Uncut I want to thank you guys for watching make sure you like subscribe and favorite and to all Logan Paul's Mavericks commie shit